record this so I don't forget it. But I was asleep and the Lord was talking to me in my sleep. First I woke up. I woke up earlier but I only had a couple of hours of sleep. And so later I went back to bed because I was so tired. And well, I had a dream the first time in a way like I just saw myself picking out clothes to go and visit to see my granddaughter when she's born. She hasn't been born yet, but I was picking out clothes and I had been praying to the Lord for confirmation on whether or not I should visit her. And that was the dream that I had, but it was just a really quick flash dream of just picking out clothes. So, but I haven't had many dreams. I have not had almost any dreams lately. I did have a dream on the Feast of Trumpets. I give God the glory for that. It's like one dream I posted recently. I had that dream four years ago. And a lot of my dreams that I put on there are dreams that I've had a while ago. But I haven't hardly had any dreams. I had that dream on the Feast of Trumpets that I don't plan to post at this time because it was personal. I don't feel led to post it. But other than that, I haven't had, that was probably the only dream I've had in probably a month. I don't know. It's been, I might have had one other dream in a month's time. That's it. I don't have a lot of dreams. And a lot of times the Lord tells me to post things on teachings that he's teaching me. And I've been fighting depression really badly because I feel like a lot of witchcraft has been done on me to steal my dreams because I don't hardly get any dreams and I spend a lot of time very depressed about it I do get visions and I give God the glory for that a lot of times when I'm worshiping God I will be translated into some vision and my visions are very real it's not seeing an image in my head like I feel like I'm translated into another world. That's how it feels. But sometimes it's even more than that. Sometimes it, it honestly, I know because God even told me this, that I'm looking straight into heaven. Sometimes I can see like straight into heaven. I do have the gift of sight. I talked about that many years ago, but yeah, I have that gift as well. And I give God the glory. But in terms of dreams, most of the time I go to sleep and I get absolutely nothing at all. Or I've had demonic attack dreams, but I don't have many dreams lately. And it was depressing me. So last night was Sabbath. I was worshiping and worshiping God and giving him all the glory. Praise God. I had a really good time worshiping the Lord. I refuse to be negative. Praise God in Jesus name. Cause a lot of times I, I'll worship the Lord. And then right before I go to bed, I get really negative and I start thinking really negative and I rebuke that in Jesus name. And I kept it positive. Praise God. And you know, I went to sleep and I just had this quick flash dream of getting at uh, outfits and I was disappointed. I was like, well, God, I wish, you know, I could have seen you but I didn't say it like that. I was, cause I do this too. I'd be like, oh, it's okay. It's okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm okay. <laughs> so that's why I was acting. I'm okay. I'm fine. It's okay. And God was like, you really wanted a dream. I said, yeah, I did. I, you know, I was hoping I can get something for the church or something. And he was telling me, you already have a lot of work to do that you need to get done. Cause that's true. I really do. And yeah, I got to get my shift change video out. I got things to do. Okay. So he was telling me that. And then, but then I still was really depressed. And I was like, if I'm a prophet of God, you know, how can the kingdom of darkness just steal my dreams? Like, where's my dreams? And I started getting really depressed about it. And again, I started feeling like I wish I was never born. And I started feeling useless. I started feeling like, why did God make me? And God immediately told me again, which he does all the time, that I'm, I shouldn't be saying that to him. Because that's against, the Bible actually says, 
We shouldn't say those things to God. It's like woe unto a person that says that. Um, Like bad things will happen to them. And I actually did a community post about that. If I can find that community post, I'll put it in the description box. I don't know if I can find it, but if I can find it. So anyway, I knew I shouldn't be saying that. And I was just so distraught, just so distressed about everything. And I said, okay, God, I'm, I'm sorry. I repent. And then I fell back to sleep. And that's when the Lord was speaking to me in my sleep. And he shocked me. He told me. He showed me myself worshiping him during Sabbath. Praise God. Hallelujah. And then he said, every time you talk negative, this is what you're singing to me. I don't trust you. I don't trust your plan. And I'm not going to try to sing right now, but I was singing it. He was like, I wasn't actually singing it, but he was like showing me sing. It's kind of hard to explain. It was as if, you know, that's what I'm singing. And it was being sung. And it was, I don't trust you. I don't trust your plan. It was things like that. Like, it was totally tearing down everything I was saying when I was worshiping God. And I was in shock by that. And then he started playing this song to me, Help Me, by Tamila Mann. And the lyrics was things like, I need to understand your plan. Help me to finish where I started. It was all about trusting God's plan, trusting his hand. You know, it was like, it was one point in the song when she says that she used to pray. What is it? Oh, I can't remember right now. It's like she changed the way she, she prayed. And that part was also singing. I'll put a link in the description box. And that's what God was playing in the dream. He was showing me these lyrics. And he was telling me that this is how I need to be. You know, I hope this will encourage someone else. But I share it with the church so we can all learn together, you guys. I love you all. God bless you.